Hello everyone. Today we're going to go over a uh, kind of a drill that you can use to help find a squat stance or maybe find a different way of finding your squat stance. It might help you find a better squat stance. The other reason you might do this is if you're having to notice maybe your heels are popping up or you're feeling like you're not gaining as low as you think you should, this might be help you find that pattern. So all I'm going to have Kelly do is I'm going to have her set up for her squat stance, her regular squat stance, we're not going to change anything, and I'm going to have her go for a squat and sit in the bottom of her squat. So she's going to go in the bottom. And again, she can stay there, so you can see, try to keep a memorable picture of the depth from her hips to the floor. She's going to try and keep an idea of how far, how far away her knees are, her feet are, her toes, the angle and all that stuff. That's kind of what I'm supposed to be doing here now too. I'm trying to remember what she's doing and staying up. How'd that feel? Great. Yeah, wasn't painful. <laughs> Next, I'm going to have Kelly lay on the floor. So she's going to lay down with both legs out flat. We're going to work one leg at a time. So she's going to take her right leg. She's going to bring it up to her chest. She's going to flex her foot towards her knee. And she's just going to kind of rock it back and forth until she can feel her knee on her left side kind of raise up or she feels like her femur is hitting like a brick wall. Do you kind of feel that right there? Yeah, the knee kind of goes up. Yeah. On side. Okay, so we're doing a visual check of seeing how far she can actually get her leg close to her chest here. Now we're going to release a little bit. We're going to pull it up towards me. Yeah, and we're going to do the same thing until you can kind of feel that knee kind of raise up again. Okay. Yeah. And then we're going to work again out a little bit further and try again. All I'm doing here right now is actually seeing how far she can get her leg to her chest and see the depth of the sole of her shoe to her hips right now. So right there is probably your lowest that you can get. You're pretty much parallel with your hips with the bottom of your foot. And I don't really see your knee popping up, so your hips are probably open a little bit more. So now we're going to take your left leg, and we're going to start at that straight on 90. And we're just going to do the same thing. All she's going to do right now is just kind of work her left leg out further and further. As she's going through there, just feeling like her leg is hitting that brick wall, essentially. Right there. Right there, you find that? Okay. So, I want you to hold this position. I want you to think about where your feet are from each other. You can lift up your head and kind of visually look at where your knees are from away from each other. Okay. Now, I want you to visually remember that. I want you to come up to standing again. I want you to get your feet in that position again. And we're going to have you go for another full on squat. Good. Alright. Now, does this feel better or lower or is that the same? I think a bit more stable. More stable? Yeah, okay. it just feels stable. And you can come standing? So, yeah, how's the bottom feel? It's a workout. It's a workout. So, that is a kind of a quick drill that you can do to kind of help you figure out maybe a squat stance. If you happen to find narrow isn't quite the same for you or your toes and everything like that. There's always those common things that we say is like, you should tow out a slight bit. Maybe for you, towing out might not be a thing. But this is a good drill that you can kind of run yourself through. And you don't need really anyone or equipment or anything to help you run through this drill at all. Another big thing with this drill is, I had a thing with that, but now I forget it already. But yeah, this is kind of the finding your squat stance drill. It's not a perfect drill. Don't go with it with 100%. Like, oh, this is what it's saying. I gotta do it this way. Still play with it, you're going to find a little bit of difference or a little bit of change every now and then with that stuff. But yeah, that's your Find Your Squat Sense by me and Kelly. Yeah.